Yeah, well, I mean, we were disappointed to see this complaint from the SEC because I feel like we've had a long history of being very transparent with them and really every regulator around the world that we've worked with. So even going back to 2021 when we became a public company, you know, before becoming a public company, you have to disclose everything about your business in depth. There was many back and forth revisions of our S1. And frankly, you know, they, they had every, all the knowledge then and they allowed us right. to become a public company. And then we're going through time and, you know, Chair Gensler has statements to Congress saying that he doesn't feel he has the authority to regulate this industry. And we're seeing conflicting statements from the CFTC and the SEC chair. And we even filed a formal petition with the SEC asking them for clarity about a number of points in the law, which they never responded to. And then this Wells notice and, and a complaint arrives. And so this isn't good for America. Um, it's not good for the industry, obviously. And we now need to go get clarity from the courts. In the past few weeks, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other digital currencies have been through a roller coaster ride. This is because the SEC and US regulators are targeting the two biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world, Binance and Coinbase, with legal action. The authorities are saying that Coinbase has been involved in trading unregistered securities, which means they were selling cryptocurrencies without proper approval. The charges against Binance are even worse. They're being accused of money laundering, fraud, and trading unregistered securities. These are just a few of the lawsuits against CEO CZ and Binance. Banks all around the world are reacting to these charges. Many have cut ties with Binance, Coinbase, and cryptocurrency transactions in general, taking away key on and off ramps into the crypto ecosystem. This has hit crypto prices hard as people worry about what's coming next. One man who is more angry than most is Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong who has been all but begging the SEC and US regulators to provide regulatory clarity for the crypto industry and how exchanges should navigate combining the complex world of cryptocurrency with the traditional finance world. Perhaps the most frustrating aspect to this entire situation is that the SEC allowed Coinbase to go public in an IPO in 2021, essentially greenlighting their business activities. However, now they are changing their tune and retroactively punishing exchanges for the way they have been doing business. The US is completely fumbling the innovation and opportunities that the crypto market can bring to an economy, a move cemented by Brian's comments that Coinbase is looking at relocating their headquarters and operations to England, which is so far being much more crypto friendly and transparent in their lawmaking. In his latest appearance, Brian had this to say about the SEC's latest moves. We reviewed, you know, over a thousand assets in crypto. We rejected 90% of them because we felt right. they weren't appropriate for our exchange. And about 200 of them are listed on our, our centralized product. And I don't know, to his, to his point about, you know, what's the there there, right. um, people are using crypto for all kinds of things. They're not just trading and they're doing payments with it. You know, Ukraine right. raised $200 million and presidential candidates are taking it. And it's a new technology that can be used to update all kinds of of financial right. services and we don't we don't need the government picking and choosing our technology right. winners let's let the market decide they allowed us to become a public company understanding the s1 right and so i feel like that's our moment to be totally transparent with them show them everything about our business and how it operates and so it's not great to have a regulator sort of come back later and say actually we changed our mind right we have actually gone out there and acquired a broker dealer license because we wanted the ability to trade crypto securities. There's actually, I think there could be a big robust market of crypto securities trading in the US, even though we don't list any securities today. Um, and by the way, I think you're right. The regulator does have the right to come, you know, edit their thinking at times and come back and say, you know, here's a new set of rules. And great, we'd be happy to follow those. The issue in this case is that we're getting conflicting statements from the CFTC head and the SEC head. And then the statements from the SEC are, are so, you know, out, uh, such an outlier. They're saying everything other than Bitcoin is a security. Well, that's not our interpretation of the law. That's not what the law says. And so, and that's not what the position of every other country around the world, their financial regulators is taking. And so I don't think we really had a choice, honestly. We had to go to court to really see if, this, otherwise this industry is just not gonna exist in the United States if we took that position. And you know, we met with the SEC 30 times in the last year. They never gave us a single piece of feedback about what we could be doing better. We just got silence. And when we asked them, how would you like us to register? You know, we have this dormant broker dealer license. Could we activate that? We got, we really got silence. And so it's not appropriate for the regulator to come back and, and do an enforcement action if we don't have a clear rule book and clear guidance. So there's Brian Armstrong and his opinion in light of the SEC and US regulators' accusations against Coinbase. Understandably, Brian is clearly upset.
he's been asking to work with and alongside the SEC and US regulators for clear rules about how to combine cryptocurrencies with traditional finance. One of the most frustrating things about all of this is the apparent change of heart from the SEC. They allowed Coinbase to start selling shares to the public in 2021, essentially approving their business. Now, they seem to be punishing the company for how they have been operating. The US risks missing out on the opportunities that cryptocurrencies can offer. Brian's suggestion that Coinbase might move its headquarters to England, a country that has been more welcoming to cryptocurrency, underlines this. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Is Brian's frustrations fair enough? Or do you think it's completely fine for Coinbase to essentially retroactively enforce laws that they hadn't passed at the time? Either way, one thing's for sure. The legal battles between governing bodies and cryptocurrency companies and exchanges are going to wage for years. Hope today's video provided you with some value. I'll see you all in the next one. And as always, all the best.